perhaps a fate of subducted oceanic crust revealed by laboratory experiments. This is by Eham University, February 6, 2019 article on Science News, Science Daily. Laboratory experiments at extreme pressures and temperatures lead to precise measurement of the sound velocity of CaSiO3 perovskite, which is one of the important constituent minerals in the Earth's mantle. The measurement suggests the accumulation of the subducted oceanic crust beneath the 660-kilometer uh, discontinuity. Remember what we said about the 660-kilometer area. That's where we have the mantle area of the uh, something that looks like uh, ragged, jagged mountains huge mountains uh, underneath the, uh, in, into the Earth's mantle. Now, uh, so this is uh, one of the recent studies having to do with what happens at the mantle. This is a schematic image of subducted oceanic crust inferred from the study. The basalt and Hazer, Hasbergite layers of the oceanic crust accumulate beneath and above the 660 kilometer discontinuity respectively. Professor Tetsuo Irifun of the Geodynamics Research Center, GRC, of Ihan University, heads a research group investigating the Earth's interior by means of experiments at extreme pressures and temperatures, simula simulating those expected in the deepest regions of our planet, and using a combination of ultrasonic techniques and large volume press apparatus GRC researchers were successful in measuring the sound's velocities of CaSiO3 perovskite, CaPV for short, an important mineral of the mantle it deposits below 560 kilometers. This result allowed them to directly interpret seismic observations by a comparison with the velocity profiles obtained in the laboratory, and they derived some composition models for the regions across 660 kilometer depth discontinuity that marks the boundary between the upper and the lower mantle. The scientific articles that present their results was published on January 10 in the journal Nature magazine. CAPV constitutes 7 to 10 percent volume of the pyrolytic mantle and up to 30 vol percent volume of the subducted basaltic rocks below. That's about 560 kilometer depth, and therefore it's an important constituent mineral in both the mantle transition region and lower mantle. CAPV also plays an important role in immobilizing heavy elements such as the rare earth elements or actinids in the mantle due to its large calcium site, which can easily accommodate such large elements. But despite such importance, no measurements of sound velocities have been made sound velocity have been made CAPV at high temperatures because this phase is unstable at ambient conditions and hence there was no adequate sample for such measurements. Because CAPV is only stable at pressure and temperature conditions of the mantle, we designed an experiment that allows us to synthesize this phase with the adequate shape and dimensions under high pressure, then subsequently send an acoustic wave directly into the pressured sample. And using this new approach, we can study high-pressure minerals which are not stable at atmospheric conditions, such as CAPV, says Steve Gro, the research leader of this project. Professor Erie Fune and his team already demonstrated in 2008 that pyrolite and hypothetical rock composed a deri uh, composition derived of the mixture of basalt and peridotite agree well with geophysical observations at depths down to 560 kilometers, which is also reported in nature. But at that time, they could not draw from the conclusions at depths lower than 560 kilometers because there was no available data on CAPV. Their 2019 results became the last piece of the puzzle and allowed them to complete their hypothesis for the seismic structure of the mantle in between the depths of 560 kilometers and 800 kilometers. So this is a totally new finding, what happens at that area of the upper and lower mantle. Quote, we did find that the cube, the cubic form of CAPV, which is most likely to be present in the mantle, has lower velocities than what was formerly predicted 
by theoretical studies, lower velocities. This result refused previous models that proposed formation of CAPV and pyrolite could explain the steep velocity gradient above a depth of 660 kilometers. On the other hand, it is in good agreement with the former study proposing the presence of basalts beneath a depth of 660 kilometers on the basis of density measurements, says Tetsuo Irifun. These new results indeed show that the presence of a subducted ocean crust can explain the magnitude of the reduction of shear velocity below the depth of 660 kilometers as observed beneath North America. Incidentally, the model they propose is very consistent with a recent discovery in 2018 of CAPV in a natural diamond, which provides evidence of the presence of oceanic crust material in the uppermost lower mantle. It's also compatible with global scale geodynamic calculations that predicted basalt enrichment beneath 660 kilometers would stabilize the subducted slab in this region. The authors conclude that CAPV, which was once called invisible in the lower mantle, as this phase was predicted to have velocities similar to those in the most abundant minerals, MgSiO3, perovskite, or bridge menite, in fact holds velocities substantially lower than those of brigmanite at depths of 660 to 800 kilometers, which should greatly contribute to tracing the existence and recycling of the former oceanic crust in the Earth's lower mantle. This is a story provided by Eheim University and journal reference you'll see here in the link below if you're interested. This is on Science, Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.